Hey, what happened with that job interview? I thought I remembered you saying something about an interview for a job that your old college friend told you about. Was that today? Yeah, I just got out of it a little bit ago. They didn't keep me waiting either. They hired me right on the spot. Wow! I'll be starting that bright and early on Monday morning. That's fantastic news! So are they going to pay you more than your old company did? Wow, you wasted no time asking about the pay. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm your wife. And since your pay directly affects our lifestyle, I'd say it's only natural that I'd be the most interested in hearing about that. Yeah, I guess you do have a point. From what they told me today, at first I'll be getting about the same as I was getting before. But looking to the future, I'm pretty sure I'll be looking at a much higher income potential than my last company that went bankrupt. Oh, okay. Well, I guess as long as it's not lower, that's fine. It's better than you staying unemployed forever anyway. Oh, and by the way, one of my new colleagues invited me to a restaurant for lunch, so I'll eat with him and then come home. Okay. I'm going to see a friend, too. We're going to go clothes shopping at the mall, and we'll be back pretty late. Shopping? Again? You got a problem with that? Just don't spend too much, okay? I don't think you're aware that your spending habits are a big reason we haven't been able to put much away in savings. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I got it. So like I said, I'll be home late. Don't wait up for me. I don't believe you. Is this for real? What is your problem? Seriously, you lied to me. Gloria? What's going on? What do you mean I lied to you? You told me that you got hired at a company making phone apps, but now I learn that you're really just a toilet cleaner? What? I was out running errands and happened to be near your new office, so I figured I'd stop by and see what the building looked like, maybe step inside if I could, and what did I see when I got there? I saw you cleaning toilets at the park across the street. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I haven't gone outside since I got to the office this morning. I wasn't cleaning toilets. Oh yeah? If you weren't cleaning toilets, then why did I see you cleaning toilets? I'm telling you, other than my lunch break, I've been staring at a computer screen all day today. I ate lunch at my desk, so I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure you're not mistaking me for someone else? Don't patronize me. You think I wouldn't recognize my own husband's face when I see it? It was you! I'm not patronizing you. I'm just telling you. Whoever you saw cleaning toilets at the park, it wasn't me. Ugh, are you seriously gonna keep this up? I have nothing to keep up, Gloria. I'm telling you the truth. Why don't you go back to the park and talk to whoever that guy was? That'd prove he isn't me. If you're so sure he's me, why don't you go and try and confront me? You already left. I saw you leaving. Plus, even if you were still there, I would never even think about talking to you. I wouldn't want anyone to know that I'm the wife of a park toilet cleaner. Ugh, disgusting. Okay. Well, I think belittling people who are undoubtedly working very hard to make a respectable living is pretty uncalled for. But again, the moment I got to work, I sat right down at my desk, and I haven't moved from this spot except to go to the bathroom. Are you not listening? I saw you with my own two eyes. It wasn't me. Yes, it was! No, it wasn't. This is going nowhere. Let's talk about this more at home, okay? I can't take any more time away from working than I already have. 
Oh, what's the matter? You have to head to the next toilet to clean? <laughs> I don't clean toilets. Enjoy your basic manual labor. <laughs> So, Ken, I'm divorcing you. What? I just can't get over the fact that you've got a job cleaning toilets. That's just too much for me to handle. You said that you were going to make the same as before, but now it's pretty clear that was a lie. What kind of low-down, good-for-nothing man lies to his own wife about his salary? I'm not staying with a filthy liar. I'm divorcing you. I can do better. What? Gloria, I've been telling you all day. You're making a mistake. Why don't you call my company and ask them? You can ask anyone in my department. They'll tell you that I was at my desk all day. The department secretary will give you my title and what time I clocked in and out today. What am I going to learn that I don't already know? I saw you cleaning toilets with my own two eyes. I already know everything. I'm not wasting my time having your company tell you what I already know. You're being ridiculous. What's ridiculous is you lying to me about your job and salary. I'm not staying with a liar who makes minimum wage. I have way higher standards than that. It's over. Are you telling me that you're so sure of what you think you saw from 50 or 100 feet away that you won't even spend five minutes on the phone to make sure you're not mistaken? Yep, I know what I saw. All right then. You know, fine, Gloria. You win. Let's get divorced. Took you long enough. I left the divorce papers on the table, so hurry up and sign them and take them to the courthouse, got it? And just so you don't go getting any stupid ideas, no, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. Goodbye, you lying loser. Enjoy your toilets. Hey, Ken, are you there? Gloria. Just what is going on with you, anyway? You're not a toilet cleaner, after all? I'm sorry it took you two years to realize this, but no, I'm not. Seriously? Yes, I'm serious. But what brought this on? A friend of mine subscribes to an IT industry magazine, and she told me that she read an article in it about you. She said an app that you designed is going viral worldwide. It's getting hundreds of thousands of downloads every week. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I did do an interview a while back. I guess they put it out this month. But in any case, we're divorced, so what concern is it of yours what I'm doing? How could you do this to me? You told me you were a toilet cleaner. That's why I had no choice but to divorce you. It's your fault I'm a divorcee. I'm sorry, what? How could you remember that instant precisely backwards? It was you who somehow got it into your head that I was a toilet cleaner, and it was you who divorced me because of that misconception. I told you, time and time again, that I was not a toilet cleaner. That I was a regular employee at an app-making company, but no matter what I said, you would not listen to a single word. And now you're calling me a liar because of that? Give me a break, Gloria. Don't try to put this all on me. You agreed to the divorce, didn't you? You could have done more to convince me not to divorce you. You made zero effort to prove that you weren't a toilet cleaner. Our divorce was mostly your fault. You're not going to get out of taking responsibility for your actions. This is the most egregious case of projection I've ever seen. I told you, you could have called my company to confirm. But you refuse to do even that. Explain to me exactly how it's my responsibility that you were too stubborn to even make one phone call. And as for agreeing to the divorce, what was I supposed to do? My wife has so little faith in me that she won't even believe me when I say that I'm not a toilet cleaner. I lost all my affection for you that night, Gloria. But... Oh no, don't tell me. 
Did you see the article about my successful app in that magazine and then decide to try and come running back to me? Tell me you're not that shameless. I am not shameless. Out of the kindness of my heart, I'm offering to forgive your past indiscretions and allow you back into my life. A simple thank you would be nice. Did you not see me just say that I lost all of my affection for you? And I'm giving you another chance to reconsider. We've been divorced for two years, Gloria. All the feelings I once may have had for you are long gone now. Not to mention, you yourself said that we would never, ever get back together. So tell me, Gloria, did you actually think what you're trying to do right now would work on me? Well, I thought I'd give it a shot. Yeah, well, you wasted your time. I have absolutely zero intention of getting back together with you. So you're going to have to move on. Ken, wait! No. Ken, how could you do this? You really are scum, you know that? You had a woman other than me? You creep! What now? This is not how I wanted to start my day. I've been single ever since we divorced, Gloria. There is no other woman. Oh yeah? Then would you mind explaining why a woman just walked into your room? What woman? If any woman's gonna live with you, it's gonna be me after we get remarried. I will force her out of your life, Ken, no matter what it takes. What? Wait, where are you right now? Ken? Why didn't you tell me you'd moved? You had no right to hide that from me. It wasn't your girlfriend I saw. She just moved into your old apartment after you moved out. And thanks to you keeping me in the dark, now I have to pay that woman damages for all her stuff that I broke. Have you ever taken responsibility for a single thing in your life? Like, ever? What responsibility do I have? To keep the woman who divorced me two years ago up to date on my address. For real, Gloria. But, Ken... I'll tell you what responsibility I have. Zero. You broke my heart two years ago, but you're nothing to me anymore. So you can stop blaming me for all your boneheaded mistakes. But, Ken, I'm just trying to get back together with you. Yeah, and I'm not interested. Why not? Because I know what this is really about. You do? Your brother told me all about it just a week ago. After you broke up with me, you started having an affair with your boss at your part-time job. A married man with kids. And once his wife found out about your affair, she sued you. And she also forced her husband to fire you. Wait. He knew about that? Yeah, and also that you've been frantically going through your entire contact list, trying to find someone who can give you money to pay off the lawsuit. He heard you talking to your friend about reading the article about me in that magazine, as well as the two of you discussing your plan to get remarried to me. So like I said, I know what this is really about. Oh no, he heard me? Oh, well, I guess that makes this conversation way easier. You're rich, right? Give me some money to pay off the lawsuit. Once I reach a settlement with the woman from the other day, I think it'll all come to around a hundred thousand. You can spot me that much, right? It's not a question of whether or not I can, but whether or not I will. And I won't. But your wife needs you. What kind of man abandons his own wife to the wolves? I expected better of you, Ken. Gloria, get this through your head. We've been divorced for two years, and I have no feelings for you anymore. I'm not remarrying you, and I'm not giving you any money. Oh my god, are you gonna run away again? Again with the projection. I'm running away. You're the one trying to run away from paying the $100,000 debt you bought with your own sheer stupidity by relying on the man who kicked you to the curb two years ago. Where else 
else am I supposed to get a hundred thousand dollars? Get a job. But I got fired! You got yourself into this mess. Not me. Not your brother. Not the woman whose husband you slept with. Not the woman whose apartment you trashed. You. You're going to have to learn to take responsibility for your own actions and stop blaming me for everything. This is your opportunity to turn your life around. What does that even mean? I don't need to turn my life around. I just don't want to be poor, so come on, give me a break. No. Please? There's nothing that you could possibly say or do to get me to get back together with you or give you money. Come on, Ken, don't be that way. I'm done with this conversation. How about just 50,000? I'm blocking your number. Wait! I'll settle for 10,000! Gloria's insanity didn't stop there. The next thing she did was storm into my office. Unfortunately for her, it was my old office. I'd moved to a different office about six months ago, and boy was she unhappy when she found that out. She threw a crazy tantrum and broke a bunch of office equipment, which just put her deeper in debt. And after that, she went to my parents' house. Or at least she tried. My parents' house is in the middle of a big development, and she apparently guessed wrong and stormed into the house of a completely unrelated couple. She threw another tantrum when I wasn't there, and earned herself another couple thousands of dollars of debt. I have no idea how much debt she's racked up at this point, but from what her brother told me, her parents finally had to get involved and take control of her before she made things even worse for herself. She's now under a legal conservatorship by her parents, and she's working a part-time job under close supervision while she gradually chips away at her mountain of debt. Hey, is it Alice? I saw your Instagram page and I love the weddings you've planned. Can we talk? Hi, Lila. How can I help you? Well, I need your help in planning my wedding. It's in five weeks. Hi, Lilia. I don't know if I can commit to planning your wedding right now. Five weeks is quite a short time. Oh, come on. I'll pay you extra for that. Can you give me some details about what exactly you're looking for? I need some time to think about it. Wow, I thought you'd be thrilled to help me. So much for good customer service. Wait, that's not what I meant. Alright, are you willing to do it or what? Whatever the price is, add 20% more and my fiancé will pay, alright? Okay, I'll do it. Just give me the details and we'll work something out. Charlie, I have something to tell you. Did you see the new booking by a customer named Lilia? Yes, and it's amazing. Such a big opportunity for us. Congratulations. Thanks, Charlie, but there's something you should know. Lilia was actually my high school bully. What? Seriously, that's awful. Are you sure you want to are you sure you want to go through with this? I have to, Charlie. I mean, you said it. It's a big opportunity for our career. Gosh, but did she remember who you were when she reached out? Nope, not a clue. Guess she might have forgotten about me. Still, that must be really tough on you. Yeah, I'm just worried she might bully me again. Don't worry, Hellas. I'll be by your side through all of this, and who knows, maybe Lilia is a changed person now. I hope so too. Hey Alice, I have this list of extra requirements for the wedding. I want everything to be perfect, you know? Hi Lilia, I'm not sure about adding more things while maintaining the budget. What do you have in mind? Well, I want to live stream the whole thing and hire the best camera crew. It's going to cost a fortune, but it'll be worth it. Wait, Lilia, you never mentioned any of this before. Adding these new elements will significantly increase the estimated cost of the wedding. Let's discuss this further. Well, I didn't think I needed to mention it before. I just assumed you knew how important it is to have the best of everything. Can't you handle it? Look, Lilia, I understand that you want the best for your special day, but I need to reconsider the financial implications. Wow, Alice, I didn't expect you to be so concerned about money. I thought you were better than that. This is my wedding, and I want it to be perfect. Lilia, I'm trying to be responsible here. I have to consider the feasibility of your requests. Just trying to make it work within your budget. Why don't you stop with the nonsense? Let me talk to your boss. 
Lilia, I'm the owner of this company. Wait, what? For real? Lilia, the wedding planning company is literally named after me. Hayes Wedding Planner. Oh my god, wait, you're Alice Hayes? Yes, that's me. We went to high school together, didn't we? Yep. Well, it's funny how things turn out for you, Alice. I remember you from high school now, always being such a pathetic loser. Excuse me? What? Don't act like you don't remember me. Lilia, I really don't need to plan this. You can try and find someone who's willing to pull this off in just over a month. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just joking. Were you? Of course. Listen, let bygones be bygones. I want you to plan it, for real. Fine, I'll look into the camera crew and let you and your fiancé know. Awesome, you're the best. Lilia brought up high school. She remembered me now. Seriously? That's terrible. What did she tell you? She was just being really rude. I'm so sorry. Could I ask what happened to you two back then? It was a nightmare. Lilia was the ringleader, making my life miserable. I'm sorry you went through that. Yeah, long story short, she used to steal my boyfriend and her friends bullied me. Oh god, that's even worse than I imagined. Uh-huh, is it too late to cancel this? Actually, I have some bad news this morning. A customer cancelled their booking for the May wedding. So, financially, we really need Lilia's booking. Are you kidding me? After all this drama... I know, we do need the money, but I wish through. I'll support your decision no matter what. Thank you, Charlie. That means so much. I think I can handle it. Yeah, well, we're in this together. How bad could it be? You're right. Let's finish this booking. Get paid and move on. We can handle it together. Alice, I just found something disturbing. What? There have been a bunch of anonymous bad reviews on our company page. What? What do we do? Absolutely nothing wrong. I think they're all made up. Wait, let me see them. Yeah, they're all here. Oh god, are you serious? This one says I racked up the price without warning. It has to be Lilia's doing. I suspected the same thing. She's trying to sabotage us, but we can't let her win. We can't quit now. You're right, Charlie. We've worked too hard for this. We need to take action. Let's report those reviews and reach out to past customers for their support. Absolutely. I'll ask our satisfied customers to leave comments and show the real reputation of our company. Let's show Lilia that her tricks won't bring us down. Also, Lilia that her tricks won't bring us down. Also, I think I know what to do to piss her off a little. Hey, John. I wanted to ask you about Lilia's request to hire a camera crew. Are you okay with it? Since you're the one paying the bills, I thought I should check. Are you kidding me, Alice? Lilia discussed this with me beforehand, and I find it completely unacceptable. Please, throw that idea away. Oh, I see. I wasn't aware you'd already made a decision. I apologize for the confusion. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate your understanding. We need to keep the cost in check, and hiring an expensive camera crew is unnecessary. No problem, John. I'm here to ensure a smooth and affordable wedding planning process. If you have any other concerns or requests, feel free to let me know. Will do, Alice. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's focus on making this wedding memorable without breaking the bank. So, Alice, I heard you felt the need to text my husband about my extravagant wedding plans. Nice move, but I'll get him to change his mind. I hope you're enjoying stirring up unnecessary drama. Lilia, let's not blow this out of proportion. It's my job as the wedding planner to keep both parties informed about any significant changes or developments. Oh, is it? Yes, I have a responsibility to ensure everything goes smoothly. How noble of you, Alice, but you must feel so proud of yourself for diligently informing my husband. But tell me, was it really necessary to involve him? Or were you just trying to make yourself look more important? That's not the case at all, Lilia. I involve both the bride and groom in the planning process to maintain transparency and avoid misunderstandings. It's about effective communication, not personal gain. Well, aren't you the epitome of professionalism? What did I do to deserve you? Lilia, let's not forget that your comments about my past during high school were equally unnecessary. Oh, did I touch a nerve? I simply remembered you as the pathetic loser in high school. It's amusing how you've reinvented yourself. That was a long time ago, Lilia. Right, because you've got it all together now, don't you capable of finding someone to marry? Or are you just too wrapped up in your work? Actually, I don't have time for dating or marriage right now. My focus is on my career. Plus, my personal life is none of your business. Really? I thought I saw a cute guy working with you. Charlie, wasn't it? I bet you have your eyes on him. Charlie is just a friend and a colleague. We work well together, but that's all there is to it. Oh, come on, Alice. I know your type. We used to have the same taste in men, remember? You were always after the same type as me. Is it any different now? Lilia, enough! This conversation has crossed a line. 
Let's focus on the matter at hand. The wedding planning? Fine, Alice. If that's how you want it, just make sure you do your job properly. The success of my wedding depends on it. I'll be in touch with the necessary updates. Hey, Alice. I wanted to talk to you about the wedding. Sure. How can I help you? So, Lilia has convinced me to go ahead with the camera crew and live streaming. We're good. We're good on that front. That's great to hear, John. I'm glad you two found a resolution. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Actually, there is. Lilia complained that I didn't have anyone film our proposals, so she doesn't have any videos to show off. I was wondering if you could help me with something. Of course, John. What do you have in mind? I was thinking, could we add an additional part to the wedding? I want to propose to Lilia again and have everyone witness it this time. It would mean a lot to both of us. That's a beautiful idea, John. I'd be more than happy to assist you with a surprise. We can set up a secluded corner of the venue to ensure the moment goes smoothly. Thank you so much, Alice. And could we get the camera crew set up so it's part of the live stream too? Absolutely, you got it. Great, and sorry about the constant changes. I really do appreciate your help and kindness. Of course, I'm happy to help. You're truly amazing at what you do, and I'll make sure to leave a glowing review on your company's page. It's my pleasure, John, and thank you for your support and understanding. A positive review would be greatly appreciated, especially given the recent fake bad reviews we've encountered. Absolutely, Alice, you can count on it. You deserve all the praise for your hard work. Hey, Alice, there's something I need to talk to you about. Did you give Lilia my number? No, why? Well, she's been texting me constantly in the past few days, and it's starting to feel a bit too much. She even asked if we could grab a cup of coffee together. I'm just as surprised as you are. But if she reached out to you, it's your decision whether or not to meet up with her. It's not about meeting up with her, Alice. It's the fact that she seems to be actively pursuing me. I don't want you to get involved in any unnecessary drama, but also, it's your choice. I don't want to meddle in it either. I can handle it if you want to go. Alice, you don't have to handle everything on your own. I can't help but feel protective of you, especially when I know what happened to you in high school. Right, I appreciate that. We've always been there for each other, supporting one another. Yeah, sorry if I made things weird. I just thought I wanted to let you know what's going on. That's okay. You know, I'm not going to meet Lilia, right? Uh, yeah, let's just focus on the wedding, yeah? Of course. Hey, Alice, something just came up and I just want to check in with you. Yeah, what's up? I just wanted to let you know that I was invited to have breakfast with the bride and her bridal party as the wedding planner. I know you're the main planner, so I wanted to ask you if you were invited too. What? That's news to me. It's quite frustrating that they wouldn't invite me. I understand why you're upset, Alice. I didn't expect this either. If you're uncomfortable, I'll just turn it down. No, it might be good for business if you attend. You can represent our company and ensure everything runs smoothly. Only if you want me to. It's important to prioritize our business. If it helps our reputation and strengthens our professional standing, then you should go ahead and attend the breakfast. Are you sure, Alice? I can tell something's bothering you. Your feelings matter to me. I can tell something's bothering you. Your feelings matter to me. And I don't want to disregard them. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate your concern, but I'm good, really. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, yes. Could you do me one big favor? What is it? Let's talk it over in a phone call. I must have accidentally forgotten to invite you to this really nice breakfast, Alice. My bad. Oh, cut it, Lilia. We both know you deliberately left me out. Oh, come on, Alice. Can we can't just bury the hatchet and put the past behind us? We have so much in common, after all. Oh, really? What common ground do we share? Well, we certainly have the same taste in men. Isn't it amusing how we both find Charlie attractive? Is that what this is about, Lilia? You're engaged to be married, and here you are, openly admitting your inappropriate thoughts about someone I consider a friend. Oh, Alice, it's not my fault. If men are drawn to me, perhaps you're just envious that I can captivate anyone. Even someone you've been working closely with for so long. Envious? Lilia, I've worked professionalism. Unlike you, I prioritize integrity over manipulative games. Integrity? Please, Alice, we both know the truth. You've been harboring feelings for Charlie all this time, yet you never had the guts to make a move. You're engaged to John for crying out loud! This conversation is beyond disrespectful! Suit yourself. 
Just remember, when it comes to getting what I want, I always come out on top. Enjoy your unrequited crush while I live my best life. I'm done talking to you! Charlie, let's go with our plan. I'm ready. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, it's time for me to stand up for myself. I think so too. It's about to get crazy. John, just wanted to update you on the surprise proposal plan. We've prepared a beautifully decorated room on the second floor. Please make sure you're there by 2 p.m. Thanks for letting me know, Alice. Could you accompany me during the proposal? I just wanted to make sure I found the right room. I have some other matters to attend to during the wedding, but the camera crew is, crew is aware of the plan and will be with you to capture the moment. Awesome. I'll get myself ready for the proposal then. Can't wait to see the look on Lilia's face. I'm glad you're excited, John. Rest assured, we've taken care of every detail. If you need anything, do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you, Alice. I truly appreciate all your efforts and support. You've been instrumental in making this day memorable for us. It's my pleasure, John. See you later, and best of luck with the proposal. We're in. We're in. I'm canceling the freaking wedding, Alice. Keep all your damn money. John, what happened? Why are you canceling the wedding? John? Alice, I have to tell you what just happened. Y you won't believe the absurdity of it all. Oh, Charlie, please share. I could use a good laugh about now. Well, I went into that designated room with Lilia, as you asked. So I was there, just trying to engage in some mindless small talk to pass the time. Right, right, you were the ultimate undercover operative. Exactly. But Lilia had some grand plans of her own. Out of nowhere, she lunges at me, attempting to plant a kiss on my lips. Oh god, that's ridiculous! I knew something would happen, but I still can't believe it. Oh, oh, it gets better. Just as Lilia's lips are about to be on mine, guess who bursts into the room? John, with the whole camera crew? Bingo. John swoops in, ready to drop down on one knee and propose. Meanwhile, poor Lilia is left hanging, and the camera crew captures the most epic moment. Oh, the irony! Talk about perfect timing! Here's the cherry on top. As John walked in, I pushed Lilia away. It was a reflex. A, a pure survival instinct, really. Jesus! I can't imagine the look on Lilia's face! It was a mix of shock, embarrassment, and a touch of regret. She never saw it coming, Alice. Oh, Charlie, this is too much! I don't think I've laughed this much in age of this chaotic situation. Let's seize this opportunity and make a swift exit from this whole mess. It's about time. We've had our fair share of drama for one day. Plus, we got paid without even have to go through with the wedding. Aren't we the best team? <laughs> we sure are! How dare you, Alice? You and Charlie tricked me! You set me up to embarrass myself in front of everyone! Hold on a second, Lilia. Charlie's only role was to bring you to that room. It was you who wanted to kiss him. You can't blame us. I'll press charges against both of you. You won't get away with this. Oh, really? Well, let me remind you, Lilia, that the entire incident was captured on the live stream. It's crystal clear that you were the one leaning forward, grabbing onto Charlie's arms. Wh what? That's not true. Just go online and watch it, Lilia. It's all over the internet. If anyone should be pressing charges, it would be Charlie. You're just trying to twist the truth. I won't let you get away with this. Stop talking nonsense, Lilia. I won't let you get away with this. Stop talking nonsense, Lilia. You created this scandal with your own actions, and now you're desperately searching for someone to blame. You're just jealous, Alice. You've always happened. You couldn't stand the fact that someone like Charlie would be interested in me. Jealous? Please, Lilia, I couldn't care less about your twisted fantasies. I have no interest in engaging in petty dramas. Leave me and Charlie out of it. You're nothing but a pathetic loser, just like you were in high school. I've moved past the experiences of high school, and your attempts to belittle me won't change who I am. Goodbye now. Lilia's video went viral and got all over the internet, humiliating her. Many people from Lilia's high school and Lilia's college also speak out, saying that Lilia was always flirting with multiple guys back when she was still a student. Luckily, the viral video made my company much more well-known, and we were flooded with new bookings. After that incident, Charlie asked me out. The chemistry was there the whole time, but we were just scared to make a move. 
It turned out that he'd been having feelings for me for a while, but never found the right time to confess it. As a couple, we run and expand the company to plan the best weddings for loving couples. I'm so happy with where I am right now.